Hey guys, what's up? This is TFE Gaming and this is all new 50 features in FIFA 20 this year. Goalkeeper Cross Intercept There is a new feature in FIFA 20 where if you hold your GK Rush button, the goalkeeper will rush out of his goal and catch the incoming cross. This helps to counter the opponents when they cross too much. Referees in FIFA 20 The new referees in FIFA 20 are totally permeable, which means the ball will go straight to them and it won't affect any gameplay. Lofted Passes There is a new ding pass in FIFA 20, which is a slightly elevated pass used to avoid the defender's leg. To perform this pass, you need to press the pass or the through button twice to avoid the defender's tackle. Ball Related Player Switching In FIFA 20, if you use your right stick to switch the player, you can use the ball related as a reference point instead of the old player related switch. To use this feature, you need to enable it in the settings. The removal of the no touch dribbling. Even though this is not a feature, but it's definitely an improvement. The removal of the no touch dribbling is a welcome change since nobody used it, and it only caused animation issues when trying to perform a skill move. Early lock to pass receiver. This is a new setting in FIFA 20 that you can enable in the FIFA 20 controller setting called the early lock pass receiver. What it does basically is locks the pass direction before the pass is made so that you can run in a direction without worrying about the pass direction. This helps you to create faster 1-2 plays. New kickoff emotions. You can perform new kickoff emotions to show your opponent what you feel about them. You can perform 4 new kickoff emotions. Angry towards your opponent, angry towards your own team, happy towards your opponent and happy towards your own team. The new skill moves. There are 4 new skill moves in the game called the lateral heel to heel, the faint exit, the drag to drag, the flare roulette and there are 2 new combo skill moves that are just exclusive to the Volta mode. New free kick system. There is a new free kick system in FIFA 20 that allows you to take free kicks in a more accurate way using a circle that you can aim at your goal. You can use a right stick to determine the trajectory of the ball and these are the controls for that. The new penalties. Same as the free kick system, there are new penalties in FIFA 20 that helps you to take penalties more accurately. It helps for better precision and aim and will definitely make it easier to take penalties than previously. The setup touch. There's a new feature in the game called the setup touch. This new skill move will help you to set up your following pass to be more accurate and precise. Players need to make sure though they have the time and the space to do so. The controls for the setup touch are RB plus R1 and then the right stick in the direction of the setup. The Agile Jockey There's a new jockey system which is more agile than previously, hence encouraging more manual defending than relying on your players. You can use two jockey modes, the slow jockey or the fast jockey and these are the controls for that. The Stand Tackle There's a new standing tackle control in FIFA 20, B and the circle to stand tackle like usual but you can hold it to perform a harder tackle. It helps you to tackle and literally stop your opponent in the incoming attack right there and then. Strafe Dribbling There's a new strafe dribbling feature that you can perform to bait some tackles and keep your ball in close control. To perform the new strafe dribbling, you need to press the LB L1 button and the RB R1 button together to perform it in any direction to trick your opponent. Simplified Rules In Volta, there are no substitutes, no offsides, injuries, yellow cards or red cards or even fatigue or stamina so that the mode is fun and let's say free-flowing. Match types. There are three match types and many variations sub match types available in Volta. There are three main match types called the rush keepers if you want to play without goalkeepers. Then there is a street with goalkeepers and then there is a futsal which is a professional version of the futsal league. Pitch sizes. This is an amazing attention to detail by EA Sports considering there are three sizes of pitch that you can choose from. The pitch size feature helps you to change your game according to the space available to you. Next goal wins. If the match draws and if it's a game mode without goalkeepers, there is no extra time. It will straight go to the next goal wins mode with unlimited time. Accumulated fouls. Another unique futsal rule is the accumulated fouls, where the sixth foul results in a penalty kick from the secondary penalty spot to the opposition. Every foul afterwards will also result in a penalty. The last second goal. There's a new mechanic in FIFA Street more like the buzzer beater in the NBA where if the ball hits the net after the time is over, it will still be counted. This will definitely create some awesome last minute moments in the games of Walter. Wall types. Some stadiums have hard walls and some have soft walls, while some have a combination of them. Both wall types can be used to make a play designed for the situation. Wall Collision and Balance Players in Volta while going out of balance will use the walls to protect themselves to maintain speed using walls in Volta. They will also use the walls to celebrate after the goal. 
Self Pass. Self Pass is a feature in Volta where you can pass to yourself and break free of your marker. Self Pass and Go is an animation that will help you to use the walls and make yourself a viable target and create amazing place. The new shooting system. There's a new shooting system in Volta that you can use to shoot from your own half and the shots don't require as much power to reach the goal. The shots will also stay to the ground more and will be less elevated. The kneeling header, there's a new unique finishing move in the game and it allows you to score in style. To perform the kneeling header, you need to press the L2, R2 or the LT, RT and then the RS forward. There are new camera angles and celebrations in Volta with unique perspectives. There's a new camera angle feature replays which uh, shows in a mobile phone and looks like an Instagram post or something. It looks very cool to be honest. Volta Football Customization Volta allows you to customize your pro, personalize your experience from clothing to hairstyle to tattoos and even to the in-game celebratory emotes. There are options from the latest streetwear and even to the wild sides of fashion. The Volta Shop There's a new in-game shop that is a gateway to the all customizations in Volta. You can use the Volta coins to unlock things in the shop. There are rare customizations and rare clothing unlocks for you to be exclusive in the time period. Walter Story. There's a new Walter Story and it's a bit like Journey from the old Fevers. It's a street mode where you can create your own character and experience the storyline in the streets. You match against legends, legends of street football in their home turf and learn how to build the squads in the mode. You also get to play this mode Breaking the Vista where you have to break some glasses of the streets. Looks fun to be honest. Volta League. This is an online mode that is like online seasons where you build a team and you play against other players online. After each victory, you can recruit a player from the opposing team, building a squad in terms of both skill and chemistry. Season Objectives. There are new season objectives that you can complete inside our Ultimate Team this year and it will help you to earn rewards and lock customizations for your Ultimate Team, which is a good addition in my opinion. The new Ultimate Team Customizations Options. FIFA 20 is gonna take the things to the next level with 8 customization options by adding new stadium themes, banners, custom balls and new crests and even celebrations that you can customize for your own club in Ultimate Team. FUT Friendlies. This is a new fun game mode they've added that doesn't consume any contracts or fitness either doesn't count to your club record. The new FUT Friendlies game gives you the new options to choose from in the new house rules and have a great time. It's nothing competitive like last year's and it's surely a welcome change. Easier Squad Management There's a new squad management screen in Ultimate Team that is designed for ease of use, faster switching between screens. In my opinion, the UI looks really clean than the previous years and the cars really pop comparing to the black background. This is a new player management screen which helps you to control the player actions faster than before. The Squad Battles screen. The Squad Battles screen is also getting an update which it's showing you the tactics of the squad that you're going to face and you can make changes beforehand before you start the game off. Customization. Pro Clubs has gone through a whole new level of customization overhaul where you can select of hundreds of different styles for the smallest of details on the face, height and weight of your pro. There's even a new graph system that you can select to balance the stats of your pro. The broadcast pack has completely gone through a rebranding and Pro Clubs has its own replay transition and on-screen watermarks. You even have club banners and new Pro Club logos. These banners are generated from the color of the club kits involved in the match. The new match types. There are many new match types that you can play inside of Pro Clubs this year and the, and the best thing this year is the new house rules inside of Pro Clubs like Survival, King of the Pitch and many more that can be played inside of Pro Clubs. A new kit selection screen. Finally Pro Clubs is getting a kit selection screen where you can select your kit and your opponent's kit so that there's no clash in the game. This really helps since the Pro Clubs has its own kit creation feature and kits used to clash all the time in the previous games. Career mode storylines. The new development in FIFA 20 has helped EA to create as many storylines as possible that helps in the variation of the player's experience. This means that every match will be treated differently by the journalist depending on the goal scored, opponent and the time of the season. Press conferences. There will be new press conferences cutscene in the career mode and they will take place in the main venue of the upcoming fixture. Both pre and post match cutscenes will have a new animation. The newly added conversations. 
The career mode added conversations has the manager to deal with a variety of requests from the players. They could be happy with you or they could be sad. That's your job to deal with them conversations and keep the club going. Player morale system. This is a new morale system in FIFA and is influenced by multiple factors. Your players can be affected by match play time, their wage expectations, performances on the pitch and also the replies you give in the press conferences can affect the relationship between you and the player. Manager customization. There's a lot of manager customization inside FIFA 20 and you can literally create the most stupidest looking managers and even the smartest if you want. There are a wide range of clothing options to choose from, from casual to smart. Dynamic player potential. A new addition to the career mode is a dynamic player potential of your player. For example, if your young talent is scoring a lot of goals, he'll have a higher potential for the next season and if he's not playing up to the mark, he'll have a lower potential. The addition of the fourth substitute. They added the usage of the fourth substitute in extra time to all competitions that support the game of the new law. This will help you to make a change if you need it in a really, really long game. Pimonte Calcio. Pimonte Calcio is. <laughs> They've added new negotiation environments, and one is called the lounge, the other is called the restaurant. These environments will be displayed behind the cutscene once you negotiate with a player. Bulk consumable options. They've added a bulk consumable option inside of Ultimate Team so that you can handle like multiple contracts or maybe fitness cards that might be in your club and you can quick sell them all and even send them to a transfer market in bulk. So you don't need to sit down and select each one of them, which is a good change. Hello well, guys, thanks for watching this video. I can only see this video took so much time to make, but anyways, it's worth it in the end. So like, subscribe and peace.